Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rhino Exploration. My name is Zach. Today, we're installing the winch onto the Jeep. So we have the winch plate and the Smitty built winch. Uh, we are going to be installing them onto the Jeep using the factory steel bumper that the Jeep came with. Uh, so that is our plan for today. So stay tuned, guys. mentioned before we are going to be installing my Schmitty built winch up onto the Jeep today and in order to do that we have a few different things that need to happen uh, one of which is removing this whole bumper this whole bumper has got to come off so we can install the winch plate that the winch will sit on so to begin what we're going to end up doing is we're going to remove this little steel plate here there's a couple bolts we're going to undo it we're going to take it off that plate will not be reused it's going to kind of go in my pile of Jeep parts that are no longer used. Uh, once we do that, we are going to disconnect the KC lights, the fog lights, and we are going to start to remove the bumper. Once we remove the bumper, we're going to set it off to the side, and we will start installing the winch plate. I went over the instructions last night. It seems like it should be a fairly straightforward process. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a speedy process, but it should be pretty straightforward of installing the plate, then installing the winch, and then putting the bumper on again and all that in. And once that's complete, we will then install, or we will then wind up the synthetic line, because this winch is a synthetic line winch, we will wind that all up and get it all pinned down. And then we will start working with the electronics. Okay, so to start, we are going to go ahead and remove that plate off of the bumper. We're gonna remove those bolts. We're gonna set those bolts off to the side because we are gonna re-put those bolts back into the bumper, though those holes may never be used. Again, like nothing will be installed there. I wanna put those bolts back because it'll look aesthetically better to me. And then we are gonna go ahead, disconnect like the, the Casey yeah, bumper lights that we like stuck on last weekend, the and then we'll disconnect the fog lights the other Jeep parts. and work our way to removing the whole bumper. Okay, so now we're going to disconnect the power to the KC lights, so then when we, and the fog lights, so when we start removing the bumper, it'll all just come off as one without any of the wires connecting to it. So one thing I forgot to mention is we do have to remove the skid plate from underneath the bumper as well. So we have gotten all the lights disconnected. We got that plate disconnected. Right now we're going to remove the skid plate and then we can start undoing. There's eight bolts, I do believe, that hold the bumper to the Jeep. And then we're gonna take that off and then we can remove the bumper and move on to the winch plate installation. There are seven bolts that hold on the skid plate. This is the skid plate here. So we have to remove all these bolts that run along here. And then there's two bolts, one here and one, you can kind of see it right there, that hold it all to the frame of the Jeep. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts and get this taken down. And then we can move to removing the bumper. a little dirty got some uh hawaii sand and clay still stuck in here i think we'll clean that out a little bit before we put it back on these right here one two and there's two in the exact same place on the other side so let's show you here just gonna 
have a good look. There they are, those two right there. And we have the same two there and on the other side. Those are the bolts that are holding the bumper on. Now, I did notice these bolts, there's one on each side that seems to be holding the bumper, but according to the instructions for the winch plate, that bracket needs to stay. So we're gonna remove these four bolts uh, on each side, and then we will take this bumper off and we're gonna take it and we're gonna set it right over there on those towels just so it stays protected. And we're gonna make sure that we don't damage the two KC lights. So now it is time to take the bumper off the Jeep and put it right over here out of the way so then we can start working on the winch plate. And there she is off the Jeep. I'd like to say that was a seamless transition from the Jeep right over there uh, but it wasn't <laughs> it's probably because I'm filming you know when you're filming things don't always go as planned but there is the front of the Jeep without the bumper and the winch plate is going to be sitting right between there so let's go ahead and get that winch plate out and start getting that all situated so I was looking at the instructions so those little bolts that I point out where I said there were two on each side those brackets they want them removed from based off of the instructions and they say that they're not going to be reused uh, it's not very clear whether it's just the inside brackets or the outside brackets here let me show you what I'm talking about here here we go so these brackets are what they want me to remove and there's two on the inside and two on the outside now the instructions do not state whether they want the outside and the inside removes or just the inside I think personally it's just the inside ones because that's where the plate's going to sit. Uh, so that's what I'm going to start with. I'm just going to remove these two inside brackets to begin with and put the plate in. And then if the outside have to come off, then that's what we will do next. All right, brackets are off on that side and over here. I just removed the inside ones, like I said. So now we're going to grab that winch plate. This is the winch plate, guys. This is from Bulldog Winch. Uh, though I'm not running a winch by that company, they actually had the winch plate that fit on the JL and would actually accommodate the Smitty built winch. So that is what we're going to use. So this is what we're about to go and install onto the Jeep where we took off the bumper. That we are gonna take these two bolts and we're gonna lift that winch plate up and we're going to bolt in the two sides. You can see one here and one here. We're gonna bolt them into these top bolt parts right here. And what that's gonna allow us to do is to get it basically hung up there while we bolt, you know, we put all the other bolts in and we're just basically mocking it into place before we put the winch on there. Cause then once we get the winch installed onto the plate, we can bolt or tighten up everything and make sure it's all secure to the frame. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna bring this winch plate up, put these bolts 
hold it into place, and then we'll take the other bolts that we have. They're sitting right over there, and we're going to bolt them into the front to get the winch plate secured. So this is going to come up right underneath. Like so. Rest it on my knee. Curiosity's gonna kill the cat real quick. All right, that's what we're gonna use. I like this one better. So, changing it up, guys. Because I do not have a little socket piece that will fit in that hole to help tighten it down, and because these things are so smooth and round, I'm just going to use the OEM bolts that fit, that are the exact same size that fit in there, to put it in there so I can ensure that this winch plate gets tightened down. It's no big deal, they're the same exact length. I, I measured them up, so we're gonna remove that one and put the OEM back. Those two bolts are in there. We're going to take our four other bolts and we're going to bolt this part and this part of the winch into these holes here to help hold that plate in place and then we will plop the winch on there. So something interesting, as I was going through the instructions, they provide you four bolts like this, and you're supposed to use it to secure the winch plate to the front. But as I was reading it, I found out that these are just, they gave you these to just mock in the winch plate so you can put the winch on the plate, get it all set up, and then you remove these, and you re put it in with the factory bolts. Seems a bit, you know, it, in my opinion, it's a little more complicated because now you're going to have a winch plate dangling with the winch on it, trying to adjust it all and shove the, you know, the bumper back on. I understand the per process of it, the purpose of it. I think it's just a little stupid, <laughs> in my opinion. It's just my opinion, but I think it's a little stupid. So what we're going to do is we are going to mock it in there so we can put the winch on there, tighten down the winch, all that, and then we will undo them, put the bumper back on, struggle a little bit, probably say a few bad words that can't go on YouTube, and then it'll be in place. And then we'll tighten it down and everything else and hopefully have success. But to start, we're going to start mocking this stuff in. All right, guys, so here is our winch. This is our the box is moving, Smitty Belt. Our Smitty Belt winch, it's a 10,000 pound winch. And we're going to take it all out of the box so we can then install it all. So they supply you with everything we're going to need, which, you know, styrofoam. Woo so there's that. Here is our synthetic line. And here, get that out of the way, is the match. So. Synthetic line. Winch itself. And brains of the winch. And our cover. I've placed the winch on top of the winch plate. Nothing is bolted down. There's not a bolt going into the winch. We just set it up there. I'm about to put some bolts in the bottom of the winch just to kind of put it in place, see if we like where it is. We can always flip the direction of it because uh, it can go either direction. But for right now, we are going to bolt those down a little bit, just get the winch in place. Then we're going to figure out where we want to put the control box on the winch. Do we want to put it on top, off to the side? Uh, we're going to look, but we're going to get that bolted down first. So though I said we were going to bolt this down, I've turned it on to its side. Uh, because we need to connect up basically the electronic parts that are going to give the winch power. And once I stick it up there and bolt it down, it's going to be very difficult to try and get my fingers 
and these wires all connected here and make sure they're tightened down really well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to tighten these, or connect these and tighten them down and then we'll put the winch. Now what's really cool about this MIDI built winch is, I don't know if you guys can see the diagram, I'll show you here in a second. It's got these letters and on these cables we have the letters so it tells you what cable goes to where so you cannot misplace the cable. They have really, literally made this stupid proof. So let's try not to be stupid <laughs> and let's mount these cables on there, get them tightened down, then we can place the winch. Where do we place the housing? Do we want to place it on this side? Do we want to place it in the middle? Um, let's find out. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really have a preference where it is, but let's, let's see what we can do here. There was a brief intermission between where I left you and what has been accomplished, because I ran into some issues. So first off, I'm gonna say this. The Smitty built winch is really good in the sense of like the winch itself and I guarantee it's gonna work fantastically. Their instructions, absolute garbage. They're very sporadic, they don't follow any kind of step and you start getting through certain processes and then you turn another you know, two pages and then it's telling you to backtrack more processes. It's just been a hassle and a half. And also some of the little screws that they provided with the winch are junk. Like they stripped out the second you start trying to tighten them any. So I ended up having to cut one of the screws off to replace it with bolts that I had already in here. And you'll, you know, it's tucked up right back in here. The thing that holds the control module up there. I had about an hour's fight with that because one of the screws stripped right out and you couldn't get it undone. So I had a fight with that. Then I had to come back through, tighten up all these again, put the negative cable on there. And now I have finally secured it firmly to the winch plate itself. So we are getting to that point now where we need to put the bumper back on the Jeep. Now, one of the things I was doing on the bumper while I wasn't presenting anything to you guys was this is upside down. I get it. But I added the two plates. So the plate that goes on the front and the cover that came with the winch itself. So we're going to get this on the Jeep. Roughly, I'm not going to tighten it in. And we're going to thread the synthetic line through. And then connect it to the Jeep itself. Because the synthetic line's got to connect to this little screw here. And I'm going to wait until I get it on the Jeep first. The bumper back on before we do it. Also, somewhere along the way, I cut the crap out of my hands. Out of my knuckles. Not quite sure when. Not quite sure on what, but I did. Okay, so we have the bumper back on. That's what it looks like at the moment. The winch is nicely recessed into the bumper. Now the fun part. So you see we got the bumper through. Fantastic. On both sides. And that. So now we have to put the nuts onto there and tighten those bolts down into these little tiny spaces. So this will be a very interesting process. But first, we need to put the winch line through onto the winch. The bumper is completely back on the Jeep. The winch plate is tightened down, bumper's tightened down. We got all the lights reconnected, the fog lights, the KC lights. So now we are on to, we are going to go ahead and gig our positive and negative wires, which are sitting right here. We need to route them into the Jeep, into the engine bay, so then we can then start to wire them up under here. So we need to get them connected, and then we can start the process of roping in the synthetic line. So, small steps at a time. Okay, so I got a little frustrated with the Jeep, so I had to, you know, walk away for a few minutes because we were just getting to a point where certain things just weren't going the way they were 
and I realized that I had just been around the Jeep way too long. So, walked away, went and had a talk with Lindsay, came back, we finished wiring up the Jeep, so everything's wired up. We ran into a few other little snags when I was trying to do that. We'll eventually get to that later. Uh, but she is all in, and there she is. I hand spun up the, the synthetic line for right now. It does ask that you, you know, you initially do it with like a thousand pounds worth of pressure. I don't have that in the garage at the moment, so for now, just to get it on there, we spooled it up that way. We'll eventually get it the other way, but it is up and in there, guys, and the whole project is completely done. And I have to admit, it looks pretty good right there. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.